What's up, everybody? It's Drifter here, yo. Playing some Destiny, uh, trying to get these bounties done. I'm on Mars right now, basically trying to get bounties and I guess farm at the same time. Um, I was trying to play some Battlefield Hardline, but for some reason the game was acting stupid. I did manage to get a couple of matches in, but I didn't record them, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I didn't really do all that great. But uh, I want to bring up a subject that got brought up before, but it was in a video or a live stream or something like that that I was in with someone else that I no longer game with, and that's KD. Now, a lot of people say that, you know, kill death ratio doesn't matter but if you're trying to be a you know a good gamer a legit gamer you're trying to get better you know what I'm saying you, you might be thinking about you know what I'm saying going and playing in some uh contests you know like going to a gaming contest you know like Call of Duty or Battlefield or something like that a, a high KD is going to be something that you want you know I mean because that's how you're going to be able to compete with the top players in the world, you know, like MLG players, they focus on that KD. You know, that's why they're so good because they're getting more kills than they are deaths. And I mean, I guess you can try to argue the points, you know what I'm saying, and uh, say that KD don't matter, but if, you know, you're trying to play at a competitive level, then, you know, you're focusing on that kill death ratio. Regardless of what you said, I mean that's you know that's just a, a known fact. That's just a known fact, you know. And uh, right now, you know, I mean, if you sit there, you know, and you say KD don't matter, you know, what I'm saying I got someone for you to you know actually look up on YouTube. It's a dude named Stumpy. Uh, you know, he is the number one ranked. Call of Duty player in the world, his KD is a three, or a is a three, or slightly above a three. You know what I'm saying? And the dude has won numerous MLG tournaments. He actually, I think he actually has a fucking X Games gold medal for fucking Call of Duty when they had like fucking Call of Duty tournament at the fucking X Games. I mean, the, the dude is just he's insanely good. And he plays for Optic Gaming, you know what I'm saying? The whole fucking team just destroys, man. These guys probably got KDs, you know what I'm saying? Like 2.75 or higher. Alright, so like all them dudes are good. And I mean, I actually uh, had a chance to game with the guy, man. I had a decent KD like that, man. I tried to 1v1 him and like I could not touch the fucking dude, man. And shit, a 1v1 match, I'd be lucky if I kill him like two or three times, you know what I'm saying? He's just like goofing off having fun the whole fucking time you know i mean it's it's insane but um i want to talk a little bit about the house of wolves that's coming out this month on the 19th um now there's been a few things that i've heard about house of wolves you know what i'm saying as far as upgrading your armor and whatnot and how that's going to work now there has been a few people that I've seen on YouTube you know that talk you know that do a lot of videos on destiny saying that you're going to be able to fully upgrade all your legendary armor to the new light level now whether this is true or not I do not know um <laughs> cuz guy that I was gaming with that I no longer game with that I will no longer game with regardless you know he uh, basically said that the only way you're going to be able to hit level 34 is to have Vault of Glass armor Crota's End armor Iron Banner armor or the new armor that you will be earning through I guess Trails of Osiris uh, and the prison of elders on the new house of wolves when it drops 
regardless, I will be playing House of Wolves. You know, um, DLC, uh, day it comes out, I will make a video, you know what I'm saying, of everything that's new that's been added into the game or try to. I really haven't had a, any good luck of getting like any of the fucking exotics that are uh, from the DLCs or anything like that. So, <sighs> it would be cool if I could, you know, do a uh, exotic review. But unfortunately, I probably won't be doing that. Um, but you know, I, I w probably won't be playing Trails of Osiris just because that m mode is a pain in the ass. Basically, what it is, it's three on three crucible elimination style, and basically, uh, you have to win a certain amount of games in a row to be able to get certain gear and once you lose I think it's three times in a row or something like that you're basically kicked out you have to go buy a new ticket in or something like that so once you lose I mean that's that's basically it you know like if you don't have enough wins for whatever piece of gear you're trying to unlock from the guy then you basically have to restart back over so it's definitely gonna be a pain in the ass to get some of the better gear now the good news is that legendary engrams or armor will drop, will actually drop inside the crucible, which I guess is like the first time that's happened because normally engrams don't drop while you're playing a crucible. I mean, they normally just drop, you know, like you see right here when you're killing PVE enemies. So that's definitely going to be something different. Uh, Prison of Elders is basically like an arena you're basically going to go in and you're going to i guess fight waves of enemies maybe they get tougher like i'm not sure how that's going to work but i know that the better you do the better gear you're going to get and it will it will reset weekly and each week i guess that it's going to be different you know like there's going to be something different in there you know like maybe uh it'll be like different enemies different location i'm not sure exactly how they're going to work that but uh trails of osiris is going to be a different map each week as well like there will be no map rotation in trails of osiris like it is in regular crucible it would be one map every week and then it will swap out you know what I'm saying and uh, like that and then they're def they're going to they're bringing the uh, Queen's Wrath back I'm not quite sure how I feel about that but you can get a really cool looking legendary ship which is pretty awesome but uh anyway guys I'm gonna wrap this video up um and let me know what your thoughts are you know please drop a comment you know and let me know what your thoughts are you know as far as worrying about a KD ratio I mean I know that there's a lot of players who don't worry about it you know but I'll say this, you know, if, if you have a decent KD, be happy because that's, that's definitely something rare. Most people, you know, like they struggle to, you know, to get like above, you know, like a, you know, a six or a seven, you know, 0.7 KD, you know, so I, I feel like, you know, having a 0.95 on Hardline, you know, that's, that's pretty decent, I mean, because I'm not really a, a shooter game style type person, you know, I'm more into those racing games. But like I said, you know, go check out Scumpy from Ep from uh, Optic Gaming. Dude is fucking hardcore. He goes in on fucking Call of Duty, man. He makes Ali A look like a bitch. No offense, man. I'm an Ali A fan, but trust me, this dude would like just wipe the floor Ali A. He would fucking embarrass him. You know, three a uh, three KD. I mean, that's fucking crazy, yo. Like I can't even comprehend that. But um. Yeah, you know, like I say, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know what you feel, you know, like on, on KD. Does it matter? Does it not matter to you? And basically the reason why. Also, you know, if you got any uh, ideas or any games you want to see me play, leave a comment below. So uh, hit that like button, kick it in the face, drop kick it, punch it, molest it. <laughs> And uh, share my videos, man. Try to get Team Legacy out there. Get more people watching these YouTube videos. You know what I'm saying? Help me grow this community. I'm just doing this for fun. Uh, for right now. You know, so, um, yeah, you know. If you want to be a part of Legacy, feel free to hit me up. It's Drifter from Japan on the PS4. 
Please like, subscribe. Peace out.